It's beginning to look a lot like fuck this. <laughs> All right, what is up, YouTube? We are back, and this is show and tell. But show and tell is going to be a little different this week. Uh, yes, I'm in December Christmas gear because you guys gave me 50 thumbs up in the first day. 50 thumbs up in the first day. Like my balls. So, it's hot as fuck in this. Absolutely hot as fuck. Oh, fuck. I left my glasses. Oh, fuck it. Uh, Alright. So, that was a dog shit day. The last rift was a dog shit day. Um, I guess metal detecting is not really for me. Uh, or I just don't know how to do it properly. But that's alright. Let's go through what sold in November. Now just remember with my uh, accounts and all that, I'm not like a lot of the other uh, thrifters and all that out there that have all these expensive $50 and $150 items and all that. So I do have some that sell uh, pretty good, but mine are mostly $10 items. And that's what we're going to make a change on next year. Uh, when Kelly joins me, Kelly's going to be uh, joining me and we're going to start getting clothes and shoes and looking more into getting more money. But in the meantime, this is all the shit that I, when the male went out by himself and collected all this shit. This is why you need a female to go out with you so you can make the extra coin. But I always focus on the stuff that I like. So that's what sold. And we had a good month compared to October. October was dog shit. Just like... This last fucking ride along, that was dog shit. This was pretty good. My total doesn't come to uh, exactly what I would love it to be for as many items as we sold, but let's go through it. Let's fucking, let's fucking do it. Let's do it. I'm hot in this shit. Let's do it. I'm going to use my phone and go through. So the first item was Operation Repo DVD. Uh, this only sold for $5, and when the month started off, I thought it was going to be a lot like... Uh, a lot like October, and thank God it wasn't. So, um, yeah, they only sold for $5. Plus, they everything, by the way, they pay for their own postage. So, I'm just showing what we got. And I'm not putting in and taking out what uh, um, fees and all that shit because I can't work that out. I just let the fees happen when the fees happen, okay? So, I'm not going to work out the fees. So this is all before fees, okay? All before fees. So, that was Operation Repo DVD. That sold for five bucks. That cost me thirty-five cents when I bought that uh, for that one because that was uh, three DVDs for a dollar. Then we got Stand by Me VHS. That sold for eight bucks. That's pretty good. Eight bucks is good when you're trying to get rid of them, and a lot of other people had it. That was one of my fifty-cent uh, videos, so that's good. Uh, the stick up was a free one, a freebie. We got a freebie there. Uh, that was a good fair few months ago. That's been uh, listed. Um, we got ten dollars for that one. Ten bucks is pretty good. Now this buyer uh, brought one hundred and eight, one hundred and eleven dollars and eighty-eight cents worth of uh, videos off me. He got twelve videos off me, so it was about ten bucks each that he uh, paid with a little bits of discount. So he got uh, Back to the Future Part Three. Um, or should we start it from the top? Because that's probably what I'll do on the uh, video. Uh, Punisher, he brought the Punisher. Um, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Never Ending Story, Twilight Zone. Uh, he got uh, Merlin and the Sword, Blade Runner, Daryl, uh, Cold Steel, uh, The Shadow, Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. He paid 20 bucks for postage. $111.88 he paid for, and he's a regular, he's not a customer, but he's a very regular, and he buys a lot of videos off me. Uh, next one was a viewer sale, and his uh, message on there was, viewer sale, fuck yeah on your brother, thank you very much. Uh, that was American Pickers Collection, and... Um, yeah, the American Pickers uh, collection I got for 35 cents and had sold for $8. Uh, next was uh, this Masters of the Universe. If you ever find any DVDs of Masters of the Universe, pick it up. This Masters of the Universe uh, sold for $20 and I paid uh, $1 for this one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, 50 cents for this one. 50 cents for this one and very happy with that. Next one is... 
the same guy again he brought 24 videos off me 24 videos off me for 207 dollars and 77 cents he paid 40 dollars shipping 40 dollars shipping because they were heavy okay so he got off me and he only just brought a couple of weeks beforehand so he got queen while live at wembley stadium fucking good video uh prince and the revolution Def Leppard, good fucking video. Um, Bill and Ted, Total Recall, Spawn, Van Halen, The Goonies, Drop Dead Fred, Rambo, First Blood, fuck yeah. Uh, Terminator 2, Mad Max, E.T., and Dark Crystal, Indiana Jones, The Witches of Eastwick, Oblivion, Starship, Star Trek V, Apex, Crocodile Dundee, Star Knight and Home Alone and tell you now I've sold a lot of Home Alones a lot of Home Alones So if you ever see Home Alone get it, you know you only get 10 bucks for it But still if you pay 50 cents for it, so those 24 I paid 12 bucks all together and 50 cents each and I got 207 dollars from 12 bucks, so it's pretty sweet Next was a first of all those Doctor Who's if you remember all those Doctor Who's um, Doctor Who and the Solarians, Solarians, uh, um, DVD, that sold for $15, remember I brought that for a buck. Uh, then we got uh, Drew Barrymore in Firestarter, I only got 7 bucks for that because I was trying to get rid of it and had it for a year. And that was another one that uh, was a 50 cent, was it a 20 cent or a 50 cent one? Uh, I don't need to tell you what I fucking paid for them. Fucking, I think it was 20 cents or 50 cents. Uh, so there's Drew Barrymore, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas, I've sold four, four of these over this last year, ten dollars, uh, it's only a ten dollar movie, but that was another one that I picked up for fifty cents. Um, the LA Lakers DVD, brand new, this one um, sold for ten dollars, and that was one of the ones I picked up three for one dollar, so it was about thirty five cents for that one. Do you remember these Mr. Men um, figures that I got? And I still got the leftovers and doubles over there still. So this lot cost me $5 when I brought them and I sold for $35. And I told you when you go to op shops, find those uh, bags that they do. Um, they always have those types of like McDonald's toys and all that type of shit lotted up for five bucks bags. I've done that with Smurfs and I've done that with freaking so many other toys and all that shit. So do it. Absolutely do it. Uh, 35 bucks right there, happy. Uh, this WWE Jax classic uh, figure sold, this Earthquake figure. Um, now, this sold for $50 um, and they paid for their postage. I brought this for $10, but I brought this about a year and a half ago. And it's been sitting for a long, long time. Uh, then we got Half Baked. That only went for $7, but that's been sitting for ages. And that was one of those 20 cent movies, so that's okay. 7 bucks off 20 cents, you can't be pissed about that. Honey, we shrunk ourselves. Another one. 20 cents I paid for it. I got 10 bucks for it. Happy days. Rodney Rude Live. That was another one of those ones that I got for 20 cents. $10 I got for that. Good, good video, that one. Uh, you'll remember this from um, one of my other, uh, one of my other uh, markets I did about a month ago. Animaniacs Plush. I got this for 20 cents and it sold for $20. Plus they paid for their uh, shipping. Uh, from the same from the same uh, markets uh, this vintage WCW Ric Flair figure and I told you wrestling figures sell and I mark my word on the wrestling figures sell it only sold for $15 because you can see that his face is fucked his nose is all fucked in the toy and all that and I paid $4 for that but I still got 15 bucks so made a profit $11 or whatever uh, Pursuit uh, VHS that sold for a tenner um, and that was a 50 cent movie uh, the Rock, if you smell what The Rock is cooking, uh, that one sold for eight dollars, um, and that one was another fifty cent uh, movie. Told you, uh, wrestling VHS do sell. They're a slow mover, but they do sell um, if you can get the clamshell covers of the old school WrestleManias and Royal Rumbles. That's when you're going to be picking up the forty, fifty dollars for those. All right. Um, this buyer uh, paid sixteen dollars and eighteen cents for two movies. I gave him a discount. Uh, America 3000 and Blue Thunder and gave them those cheap. They were both 50 cent movies, so turned a dollar into $16, whatever. Uh, I'm putting on there what I sold anyway, and not everything's from um, when I thrifted. And this uh, JVC uh, video camera was an old camera that um, I just pulled out of my drawer. 
the other day not worth any money someone actually had it listed for twenty dollars so I put mine at thirty dollars and mine sold overnight it sold overnight thirty dollars so I put zero dollars into that and I'm still putting it in the kitty because um, you should always go around and have a look what you got at home if you don't uh, if you have a bad week at thrifting like um, like we just did well like we just did yeah uh, this Rabbitohs uh, Premiership Premiership uh, DVD this one this one sold for 10 bucks 10 bucks and that was another 35 cent one three DVDs for a dollar that was at the place where you fill your bag for five bucks but uh, the DVDs were three for a dollar oh man it's hot in this it's hot in this fuck me these will be available when I reach 500 subscribers subscribe now and you can also get yourself a VHS thrifting mug. <laughs> Alright, these two VHS blank tapes only sold for eight dollars, but 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 I only paid a dollar for them. So that's alright. Seven buck profit. Now this was from the markets uh, about a month ago as well. Uh, when I did that big toy haul, this Doctor Who uh, action figure. I got 45 bucks for it and I paid one dollar for that one dollar so that paid for the whole day of all those toys and I sold heaps of toys from that um, from that uh, markets so far so go back and watch that video if you don't remember that uh, markets but that one was pretty fucking cool same markets again uh, look this sold on the 15th of November uh, 15 dollars for this one I paid four dollars for this Roddy Roddy Piper excuse me Another WWE uh, figure, uh, but this one sold uh, yeah for fifteen dollars, and I paid four dollars for it. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't worth as much as I thought it would be, but we still made money. You remember this one from uh, one of my videos not long ago? Um, <laughs> this sold on the sixteenth of November. Uh, and I'm doing them all in order. I had a good month. I didn't make as much as I would like, uh, but we still had a good month. So this time it's the Tank Engine cassette tape. I've said from the beginning from the get-go um, so that was twenty dollars I made off this one and I paid fifty cents but I've said from the get-go uh, if you watch some of my earlier videos when I brought that big box of cassette tapes for twenty dollars and I made five hundred bucks off it and that's when I was buying all those videos and all that and that's where I started off with just uh, buying videos and cassette tapes and that's why I'm the VHS thrifter because that's what I was trying to tell you all those retro things sell you just gotta find Find the find the gym gems. Find the hidden gems. Ernest goes to camp. Well, someone brought that for twenty dollars, and that was one of my fifty cent movies. Why the fuck you would want Ernest goes to camp? I don't know. Uh, I've had this one for a while. This Ninja Turtles puzzle. A few missing pieces. Kelly put it together. A few missing pieces, but that's all right. Um, that's all good. That's all good. Um, we got 10 bucks for it because there was a few missing pieces. We paid 50 cents for it. It's good. It's good. All these, you know, all these 50 cent items and all that and one dollar items, we're still getting 10 dollars for, so we're turning one dollar into 10 bucks. It's still better than gambling, really. Uh, Muppet Christmas Carol, I remember getting this one for 20 cents in a lot. Uh, 10 bucks we got for this. Anything Christmassy at the moment, if you can find Muppets Christmas Carol Home Alone. Die Hard, because Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Um, you will, you will sell at the moment. Uh, Jerky Boys went for eight dollars. That was a twenty cent movie. Uh, okay, another Doctor Who sold. Remember that Doctor Who lot I got? That fourteen videos for a dollar each. Uh, this one only sold for ten dollars, um, and we paid a dollar for that. Terminator Two. This one was a twenty cent video that I brought. Eight bucks we sold for that. Oh, this is hot. Oh, fuck. Barbie uh, build blocks style. Jingle balls, jingle balls, jingle balls on my face. Uh, Barbie building style uh, blocks. Eight bucks. I paid two dollars for that. And that was from uh, the garage sale trail. Wasn't worth anything. And unfortunately, but we still got money back. So it's all good. Uh, Ten dollars for this Japanese one. But as you can see, it says, What the fuck ain't down on the cover. And I can't translate that shit. So I just had to put Japanese anime card in. I only got ten bucks for it. Had it since last Christmas. Marked it right down. We got 10 bucks for it. That was a 20 cent video. Another one from that uh, toy markets. Uh, Hulk Hogan. 
uh, vintage um, vintage Hulk Hogan uh, look how out of shape it is and all that I paid $14 for that and a lot of people would have just walked straight past that and said I am not fucking getting that look how damaged it is but I knew I just know those old Titan sports uh, figures um, just go and it got 50 bucks for that from $14 this one only just got not long ago as well um, Iron Maiden peace of mind one dollar sold for ten happy days and that sold overnight as well that sold overnight uh, this one I picked up 50 cents somewhere I can't remember uh, this blu-ray still sealed I've had that for ages ages um, I got uh, nine dollars for it nine bucks ten bucks ten bucks for it body trim I've had this sitting there for a while I brought this for uh, five dollars from an op shop and we got 35 bucks for it plus they paid their own postage um, that was new and sealed so someone wants to lose some weight before Christmas because they said they wanted it ASAP for a present <laughs> uh, the surfing ones man this surfing uh, one went for 10 bucks but I've had this since December last year when I got that big lot and um Man, surfing ones I was selling for thirty, forty dollars at at start, and um, ten dollars. It's just come down to ten bucks now, and now they're sh now they're shooting off again for ten bucks. But man, some surfing ones do go for uh, thirty, forty, fifty bucks. So look out for surfing ones. This one only went for ten dollars. Another Doctor Who, uh, another Doctor Who. Doctor Who went for fifteen dollars, and this was another one dollar one. The Doctor Who's are killing it for me. I'm killing the Doctor Who's. This Karate Kid one I've had since December last year was one of my twenty cent ones, and um, only went for ten dollars. Had a lot of watches on it for a while. Scanner Cop two went for twenty dollars. It was another fifty cent one. See this haul, I haven't spent like much when we uh, added it all up. So that went for twenty bucks. Police Academy 1. Get the Police Academy movies. You'll sell them all for $10, $15 each if they're the clamshells. This wasn't a clamshell, so I only got 8 bucks for this one. You get the clamshells, you're going to get about 15 bucks for those ones, maybe even 20 And next up, it's sold. Shocking moments. Shocking moments for the bold and the beautiful. Sold overnight. Sold overnight. I didn't list it for ages, and then I finally listed it, and it sold overnight. $15. $15 and we paid a buck for that. That is shocking. Shocking moments. This uh, biblical history time book. Oh, fucking. I've had this forever. Forever. And I got it for $10. 10 bucks. And that sold only for $20. Had it for like 100 and then a couple of months later, 80 and then didn't go. So we got rid of that shit. Alright, another Doctor Who. This one went for $10. Uh, Doctor Who and the Delta Bannerman. Uh, we, as you know, $1. Return to the Blue Lagoon. This ain't the, uh, what's a Brooks name one when she had the tits out in the other movie. This is the more of a PG one. Uh, Mila Djokovic before she was in Resident Evil. This one for $10. Return to the Blue Lagoon. I've had this for a year. Don't buy it if you ever see it. Blue Lagoon 1, though. I've sold three copies of that. That sells. I even had it lotted up at one stage with number 2, and no one would buy it because no one wants number 2 because it's shit. It's dog shit. Uh, this book was from a bag of uh, the fill your bag for 5 bucks. So this worked out to about 20 cents for this book. Uh, Eden Blyton and the Magic Faraway Tree and, um, and other stories. That sold for $8. That's pretty good. So that pays for the bag. Another Doctor Who. Another Doctor Who. Uh, Doctor Who and the Sea Devils. Doctor Who and the Sea Devils. That sold for $15. Paid a dollar for that. And then last but not least. Last but not least. I want to jiggle these in front of you. Oh, you like my balls. Uh, last but not least. I gotta get this shit off because I think I'm gonna fucking pass out. I can't wear this again. I can't wear this again next week. I'm sorry. I'll wear a Christmas shirt. Uh, Paul McCartney, I picked this up somewhere for a buck and it was sealed still. $30 and that sold on the 30th of November. That was the last sale for the month. 30th of November. Um, and we got 30 bucks for that. 
and we paid a dollar for it, so that is fucking awesome. Now, all right, so I added up everything that sold and what I spent on each item because I've actually never done that before. And I thought I'd do it because everyone else is doing it, so I'm gonna fucking do it. And I spent a total for all that shit. $92.80. $92.80. Now, I'm not going to take that off the total yet. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that off the total or show you what I freaking... Anyway, I'm going to show you before fees. I'm going to show you without taking the $92.80 of what everything costs that we brought that sold. We sold 86 items. I know it's a lot of items for not a massive return. And it's pretty fucking shit, actually. But we still claim this to be a good month for us because remember we're only selling $10 items and $20 items here and there and then a few $50 ones that help out as well. So personally we think this is actually pretty good because we haven't gone hardcore yet and Kelly hasn't come out yet and shown us how it's done because she's going to go hardcore on the clothes. It's going to cost me fucking money. I'm probably not going to get to buy video games. This is probably all going to be bullshit next year. The channel's probably going to be crap. It's probably going to be fucking shit. She's probably not going to let me fucking smoke in the car. Next year, when Kelly joins us, we're gonna, it's going to get boring because she's going to get clothes and I'm not going to get so many video games and videos. And But I'm still going to smoke in the car. Kelly? Why not? I'm still going to smoke in the car. No, you're not. It's going to make all our stuff stink. Yes, it will make all the clothes stink, but it never made videos stink. So when we get clothes, we're not allowed to smoke in the car. Bet you will take her car because she likes air conditioner on. I don't have air conditioner on. Anyways, I'm waffling. Bring up. Bring up the kitty. Yeah, bring it up. Kitty. Oh, kitty. Kitty, we sold 86 items. 86 items. How much before fees? Before fees and not taking away what we spent on the product. Kitty, put it up, put it up. Kitty! Woohoo! $1,092.83. $1,092. Fuck, I just said. Anyway, Kitty doesn't lie. That's what Kitty says. Now, we want to get this bigger next year. We don't want to be doing what's sold in the month of whatever unless it says two grand or more. Three grand or more. Kitty, we want you to get more frisky and get higher. Get it higher, Kitty. So, fuck off, Kitty. Fuck off. It's hot and I want to take this shit off. So, fuck off. So it's an average of about $12.70 an item. And we want to bump that up. Me and Kelly are going to bump it up. And it's going to be good. Kelly's going to come on. She wants to see 50 likes every week. 50 likes every week. And on the new year, on the new year, she is joining the VHS Brifter and wife. And wife. So she'll be joining me. She'll be joining me. Might not be for every episode, but she'll be joining me. Who knows, I might even do a live this Saturday night. Don't quote me, but I might do a live this Saturday night, and she might pop on for the first time. So give me, if I do, a live this Saturday night, and you want Kelly to jump in, give me 60 likes. 60 likes, and we will make her. Because I will make her watch this. She doesn't even watch these, actually. We'll see what we can do. We'll try and get her to join in. She's going to join in eventually. Maybe if we do a live this weekend. But anyways, that was a good... I personally think it's a good month. It's not as good as a lot of you guys out, out there that made a lot, a lot of thousands of dollars. But uh, that's awesome. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And subscribe and follow your friends fellow Australian thrifters. There's a lot of Australian thrifters out there. I don't even have to mention any of their names. A lot of them have come on live with me and you know who they are. So follow your Australian thrifters. Follow me. Like, subscribe. 
Thumbs up, thumbs down, do what the fuck you want. I'll be back next weekend. I am going to go thrifting again next week. I am going thrifting again next week. She's going to go do wedding shit. I'm going to go thrifting and I'm going to have fun because it's Christmas time and there's probably going to be fuck all on the shelves and we're probably going to have another dog shit day. But don't you worry about that. We'll make sure we have something for show and tell. See you.